And I figured I should make a sigil for all this anti-Dracia business. This bitch fucking runs a cult, or tries to run a cult. She's been, um, kind of punished lately. Like, wrecked. Hashtag wrecked. Um, but I just figure it would be fun to make an offensive sigil against her. Why not? In my favorite software. Honestly, it's pretty legit. Of course, the annoying thing is when I split text into pads, I have to do things to tidy up, but it's fine. Just gotta reconnect the bits of the letters that got split off. And uh, this text here means the struggle against Dracia. The sigil is going to represent the struggle, the fighting, subverting that has been taking place. I've honestly been doing a lot of sigil making lately. Because I infiltrated her little cult. And got myself promoted to admin. That was fun. Oh my god. I forgot I named that group chat Anti-Dracia Jihad. <laughs> Actually, the Arabic for this has Jihad in it. I thought that would be extra funny because of the whole she's basically a reverse Christian who wants to blow up the universe with her little daddy issues deity. Not really a deity. A parasite that has since been killed, but she's living on in her delusion. And it's pretty pathetic, but also funny, because uh, I live on schadenfreude. I fucking love it. And that's the thing, Gracia doesn't understand, like, she, at first she was like, oh, you're not dark. And then I did a bunch of shit in her server to prove otherwise. And did I feel bad at times? Sure, but eh. I need to click on that at some point. <laughs> Discord messages popping up. But this is more important. So I feel creative right now. I want to make this happen. It's been a while since I've done a sigil video. Okay, so I don't know where this video is going to go, but presuming it's going to get any sort of audience whatsoever, I should probably talk about who Dracia is, why I hate her gut so much, and why I've gone to all this fucking trouble, because this has been a fucking long operation of infiltration. Like, I was on her server for two weeks, a little bit more actually, and, well, <laughs> I had to, I had to do, do and say some things that would make most people pretty uncomfortable. Um, made me uncomfortable, but I was committed to the cause of gathering intel and exposing who she really is, and not just her, but her second-in-command, Mythica, who is, well, a lot more well-connected than Dracia. Okay, so anyway, wow, I'm really failing at positioning this Dalet. What the fuck am I doing? Come on, that's good enough. Move on. Um... So, Dracia's server, which is now deleted because of, well, she decided that was just the other server was too fucked, which, I mean, kind of was. She kept doing all these purges of messages and being all paranoid and shit. And I mean, like, we did have people going into our server to mess with her, but it's not like we were doing it specifically because we we're assholes, but... We, our goal was to disrupt the cult operations, because uh, she's into some wacky ass shit. So like, start off with she's anti-cosmic, which 
as the etymology of that term implies, you are against cosmic existence. You want to make it stop being a thing. And there's a lot of unsavory groups that have taken on this ideology, like Order of the Nine Angles, which is basically neo-Nazis um, in occultism. And let's see, then you've got your uh, Joy of Satan, which has been around for a long fucking time. They're definitely, like, super anti-Semitic and basically Nazis. Um, their high priestess, Maxine Dietrich, or whatever the fuck her name is, is, like, super, has such a vendetta against the Jews. It's, it's, it's stupid. They have these reverse Torah rituals where they pronounce the Hebrew alphabet backwards, and they're like, we're wiping it out from existence on the astral, and I'm just like... Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna cringe. I don't have another reaction for this. Um, okay, let's grab my Arabic. That's the same thing, except it's the Jihad against Dracia. Yeah, it's, it's just her name transliterated. Um, because, like, the fun part of these sigils is always the inside part. Why is this... I was just like, why is it all fucking separated? But yeah, this is the fun part, because we're gonna split this up into component paths, and we're going to create something from this. It'll be beautiful. So notice that I'm not splitting apart, like, contiguous portions of script. So, like, what the fuck? Oh, they're not together. I'm gonna finish that thought once I fix this. Dude, are you serious? Hold on. Behave yourself. There we go. And then join these. But like, this is one word, right? But this letter, the equivalent of Aleph, I guess it's probably called Aleph instead of Aleph, like in Hebrew. Anyway, like the letters are pretty similar. But this is the, the word, the Jihad, Al Jihad. Um, but this part is together, and then this is its own separate thing. and. Like, the D letter doesn't connect with adjacent letters, and neither does this one. Actually, no, this one does under certain certain circumstances. Yeah, certain circumstances. I can't talk. Um, I don't know what happened here, but these are, like, separate, so they're, they don't... It's, there's no ligature marks for that one either. That's the R. Nope. Not union, subtract. My bad. Oh man, I can see this one's not together. Sometimes you gotta do it piecemeal, otherwise it fucks up. Alright, this should work. So like, we've got our semantic unit all set up over here now. Um, my recent practice has been to keep a copy of it hidden as a backup if something I don't like, if, if, if it doesn't work out, whatever it is I'm trying to do with this. Gives me like a nice undo option basically. Uh, that's not gonna work. And then I kind of just like mush them together. It doesn't super matter ultimately. It's just the point is to get them mushed together in a way that doesn't look like crap. And then from there you just kind of fuck around till you 
repeat them. I forgot. I could. I used to eliminate duplicates, like duplicate letters, when I was doing this, but with the Arabic, I've found that I kind of just don't want to do that anymore. I just roll with it. This one is not that interesting looking, but we'll see if this goes anywhere. This will be a less complicated sigil at, at this rate, just because of there's not a lot of source material to work with. It's going to have way too much of a gap in the middle. Huh. Also, another thing I need to experiment with is dividing the 360 degrees by however many points the text has. Because I usually just rotate 45 degree like a lazy fucker. But... One of these days I might start actually caring and trying to do a better calculation. I feel like this is going to come out looking dumpy. I'm probably going to have to redo this. It's, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, no, this is not... That's not going to fly. This one, I'm I'm just anticipating having issues with it. No, oh, this this kind of looks like something. The fuck? What am I doing? This is a weird one. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Oh, right. I'm supposed to do the... That one first. But there's gonna be too much fucking white space in the middle. Yeah, no, 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 no. This is no good. I feel like this this one's just doomed. I just need to like change it significantly. So right now it's not conducive to Yeah, no. No, 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 no. This is an, this initial group is not workable. Let's see what else we can do. A lot of this is just experimentation, if I am to be perfectly honest. I've said this in my previous videos, but definitely a thing. Kind of just takes a bunch of trial and error sometimes. This one's probably not going to be good either. It's less bad, but I still am not quite pleased with it. I kind of want to save this configuration, though. Save that for later in case I decide maybe it's not so bad. Oh, delete the other one.
try it the other way, maybe. Don't have high hopes for this either. Eh, maybe this, eh, maybe this is not as bad. No, there's way, way too much white space. <sighs> that middle part's always fucking hard to get right. This one's one of the harder ones so far, but wouldn't be jihad if there wasn't a fucking struggle, am I right? <laughs> Oh shit, that looks like a face. Looks like an angry face. This might this might yield some results. I'm already starting to see interesting patterns in the unflipped version. Might be hope for this yet. Wait, this looks kinda similar to one of the other ones we did. That was kinda God damn it. Too much, too much space in the middle. But if I mush these clo too close, then like, it's gonna get really cluttered. These all fucking look like Venus flytraps or something. There's still like too much just bunched up like I would say this one's that one is like a bit better but just need to like Uh, this is this is gonna be even worse. Uh, eh, this one's not terrible. Whoops! No, that was supposed to be not a fifteen. Or wait, no. This is why I kept the other one, because I'm like, oh no. Whoops. What if I could like duotone these?
<laughs> Might fill in the gaps a little. <laughs> well, that's a little more interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, that's interesting. It's probably too dark red, though. Oh, yeah, I need another thing to make this work. This magenta is probably too magenta. Actually, nah, fuck it. I'll, I'll leave it as it is. Let's see what we can do with this red. I feel like they need to have a border. Oh, it's too much. That looks kind of cool. It's not what I was going for, but... There's something interesting about this. Of course, I'm butthurt that it's asymmetrical. Okay, I have the perfect solution to this problem. This is not elegant whatsoever, but I'm basically just going to put one on top without without the the border. Yeah, there we go. So the border is basically just supposed to like split it up a little from the other one, and this doesn't need to have a fill. Basically, just we just split off our our layers completely. The border should have there. Oh yeah. Oh, this is better. This looks fucking sick. See, I'm glad I kept both versions because now it's kind of like okay. Um, I feel like the border is probably too big now. The reason I save it with that type of, with that border type, whatever this is outside, if I want to save to SVG, it, if I don't do that, it looks like shit. So I need to like, be smart about it. Okay, these are grouped together because they're that thing. So of course now we're actually going to position them independently, position and size. I fucking love this program though, honestly. Gravit, Gravit is my shit. I miss fireworks, but this is pretty damn good. And it's in some ways it's better than fireworks. It's just it doesn't have the this the capabilities to edit non-vector stuff, and that kind of peeves me. It's too bad because that's like the one feature I'm missing. I would be a million times happier if this had feature parity with fireworks. Dude, where the fuck's the middle? Come on. Gotta line with the middle here. That's a little too big. Uh, 
that's still a little too big. Nice. Now, I like this is probably the first time I've done a duotone sigil. Certainly produces a its own kind of effect. I kind of dig how this came out. Truly. Wondering if I should make the outer circle red. Wonder if that would work better. Hmm, interesting. I find this interesting. I don't know. I think I'll leave it like this.